Welcome you to Atlanta and our coverage of the Pro Volleyball Federation tonight. The two teams that have separated themselves as the class of the league collide one final time in the regular season from Gas South Arena. It's the Atlanta Vibe against the Omaha Supernovas. And we are excited to have you here. Andy Demetri, Keely Evelyn, great to have you along. Keely, these teams one and two in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Let's take a look at those standings. The Vibe, winners of five straight coming off sweeps at Las Vegas and San Diego earlier in the week to move to 14 and four. Omaha, nine days removed from a four-set victory over Columbus. The Supernovas enter tonight at a record of 11-5. Now, Vibe head coach Todd Dagenet did tell us before the match, we're not trying to overhype this one. It's only one match out of 24 in the regular season, but that's okay because that's our job because we are excited for this one tonight. It's pretty exciting. These are the two best offenses in the league. It's no secret. Six of the 11 players of the week are in the arena right now as we speak. Get ready for some offensive action. These teams have met three times. The road team has won each, including Omaha, Dean and the Vibe. It's only sweep loss of the season. The Vibe came back on March the 14th, defeated Omaha in four sets at the CHI Health Center. Now, when you have two dynamic offenses, you know the setters will be in the spotlight. That'll be the case tonight. Let's begin with the Supernovas, Natalia Valentin Anderson. Just a firepower on the court, getting the role when her team needs that energy. Ten-year professional, has Olympic experience. Valentin Anderson brings that fight. Get ready for another offensive show today. The energy will be present with Valentin Anderson. Meanwhile, for the Vibe, Marley Monterey, has she ever been a breakout star in this Vibe offense? Coach Zazanay jokes, sure, we've had three of the players of the week from Atlanta Vibe, but I don't know if we'll get another one because Monterey is running such a balanced offense. March was a hot month for Atlanta Vibe, going 7-1, and one, and it's because of those hands. Marley Monterey is doing an excellent job mixing up the offense. Atlanta and Omaha met in the historic first matchup in Pro Volleyball Federation history. They could meet in the championship next month, but for now, one more regular season showdown, and first serve is next. And Atlanta, and, and all set, set to go between, between the five and, and the supernovas. Great to have you with us. Battle of first, first and second, second place, place in, in the Pro Volleyball, Volleyball Federation. Federation. Leah Edmond on the service line, puts it in play, and we are underway. Healy will get into your keys to the match in a moment as the supernovas go soft over the block. And the side out from Ristina Vuchkova. But let's dive a little more into some of those keys and how you see this game might be separating. In fact, that was a miss hit by Vuchkova and point to the vibe. 
Right back to Vujkova, dug out from the back by Edmund. De La Cruz block touch, kept up by Hentz. Legator member Mena catches a seam. And Legator member Mena, punishing outside hitter. The second year pro from Pittsburgh makes a 2 nothing vibe. You can see the low flat set delivery. Give Mena a seam, she's gonna find that way to go fast and fight that middle blocker to close. And five kills, six digs in that sweep over San Diego on Wednesday. Successful road swing for the Vibe. Sweeps of both the mojo and the thrill. But tonight marks their third match in the last week with a strong start. The legs look spry so far, now 3-0. You had a second kill from member Mena, but it was that defensive layout. Morgan Hentz, I really just come to see you play. <laughs> Laying out, keeping the rally going. You could make the case. Morgan Hentz, the former Stanford Cardinal, best defensive player in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Off the overpass, easy pickings for Ana Lasareva. Lazareva coming with height, just find an open court. Instead of going back at the blocker, just redirected that shot, identifying there's my court, put it down. Ninth double of the double double of the season against the Mojo on Wednesday. Another sloppy first ball contact. Long swing by Betty Dela Cruz. Yeah, but had the timing thrown off. Opportunity now and thrown down by Jess Shaman Landsman. Did not play nine days ago versus Columbus, but she swung well in the sweep over the Vibe in Atlanta. And she puts the Supernovas on the board. Kendall White does such a great job with out of system, delivering a beautiful bump set for that kill. Kendall White getting the start at Libero after Gabby Thompson got her first career start <laughs> against the Fury. Quick set, great layout. Even Landsman was able to make the cover. McIntyre, like to remember, Mena steps into it. That's kept up. Free ball now for the Vibe. Looking to stretch this 4-1 start. Across, <laughs> member Mena makes it terminal. Take you through that, Andy, in a three-hitter situation. You got Lazarev on your right side. She's front row. You have to hold with Fanning. That gives enough for the right front to suck in enough line for Legator member Mena to take advantage. So much attention, rightfully so, to Anala Sareva, Leah Edmond, Legator member Mena. A hard-hitting X-factor for this Vibe offense. Quick set, Dixon trying to slap it down. It was denied by Yelahasheva. Pushed over, Yelahasheva there for the cover. Here's La Sareva. That's slowed at the net by De La Cruz. Betty De La Cruz, reigning Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week. Tied a franchise record, 26 kills in their win over the Fury. From the back, off the tape, kept up, played over. This Atlanta defense has been so sharp, and they get the double block for the point. Member Mena and Yeta Hashima close it down on the outside. The matchup is what Omaha wanted, go, going over, but not today, Member Mena says, and takes away that seam shot. Active star for Member Mena, 6-1 vibe in our first set. Well, something about that sweep, the Supernovas dealt to the vibe. February 29th, lit a fire under Atlanta because they've won 10 of their last 11 since. And an ace stretches it to 7-1. They served to Shaven Landsman, couldn't get a solid swing on it. And that prompts an early timeout from the Supernovas and head coach Bird Kuhn. Now, Todd Dagenet talked about his team being professionals, long week, but a sharp start, and up 7-1 over the Supernovas in the first. As the sun continues to shine on the inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation, the stage is set for the crowning of the champion. An energetic Saturday night here inside Gas South Arena. Vibe and the mojo and our first serve. In the heart of competition, Pro Volleyball Federation has ignited a firestorm of excitement. Captivating audience and athletes alike with every match. But behind every spike, every dive, there's been a force driving excellence. Grand Athletics. Grand Athletics proudly champions the success of the Pro Volleyball Federation's first season. Here's to many more victories on the horizon. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. 
Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Welcome back to Gas South Arena. The vibe have roared out to the 7-1 start, forcing an early timeout from Supernova's head coach, Bird Kuhn. And Shelly Fanning on the service line, out of the timeout. They go to the slot attack, and Dixon, that's well covered. Member Mena <laughs> crushes it. A deep cross by Member Mena. That's four kills in five attacks for Member Mena. Feeling it, but it was that dig by Monterey. This set her nice set delivery. Feeling it, like to remember Mena on fire right now. Four kills, dominant. Only had five in that sweep over the Mojo on Wednesday. De La Cruz is parried at the net. Swooping in from the back, it's Leah Edmond. Preseason unanimous all league doing what she does well. And how about a 9-1 start for the Vibe? Who are you going to think about with Atlanta Vibe? You have that front row loaded, and then you have to remind yourself you had Edmond in middle back for that back row attack. This is what makes Atlanta Vibe hard to stop. Well, that's what Coach Kuhn told us about that sweep and particularly what the Supernovas did well as they get the swing off hands and down for the side out. But she told us in that sweep here at Gas South on February 29th, their offense was legit, but also Atlanta back then was much more pin heavy. In that matchup, they did not yet have Magdalena Yelahashiva. Now Bird says they're much more balanced, a lot harder to stop. Natalia Valentin Anderson to wind it up from the back. The back set, and that one gets down from La Sorreva. Coach Bird jokingly said, can you please stop setting your middle so we can <laughs> just go ahead and get four hands on your pin attack? This is what causes the hesitation. Dixon tried to make a move, but La Sorreva going high off the hands, taking a deep shot. La Sorreva nine aces on the season. That's dug out by White. And muscled through the double block for the point. Shaven, yes, Shaven Landsman. Shaven Landsman going and attacking the moving middle blocker with the close. Because that ball was low, the middle blocker couldn't get sta in their station to jump straight up. Nice attack. Now the rookie from Iowa State who had a season-high 270 hitting percentage in the most recent outing versus the five. Heavy hand from De La Cruz from the back. Edmund goes soft over the block. Now none of Villar. <laughs> How was that kept up by Hens? Transition ball for the Supernovas, but that's erased. Pushed over by the Supernovas. Slot attack, Yela Hashava, and cannot dot the corner. Point Omaha. You could feel Setter Monterey really wanting to go back to Yela Hashava on that slide attack. That was the right time to do it. Just not able to connect that topspin on, on it. Should make it three serving 10. Betty De La Cruz, like we had mentioned, the reigning Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week. 26 kills in that four set win over Columbus. Only had two hitting errors on 41 swings. Not going to be an ace, but it was an overpass and thumped down. And maybe this is the start of Omaha settling down. You have De La Cruz, the league leader in aces, going right deep at the hands of Edmund. That was a right set delivery. De La Cruz, the Pro Volleyball Federation's Aces leader. It's interesting because she still leads the Pro Volleyball Federation. I think we have a hold up here as they get the score corrected on the video board. But she had only had one ace her last four matches. Cutting it loose, serving towards Edmund. Member Mena, well covered across the court. Shaven Land's been trying to find his seam. La Sareva with the dig. The center dump by Monterey. <laughs> Defended well by Valentin Anderson. Another swing for Nunaviller. Shaven Landsman steps into it. Monterey feeds Edmund. Takes something off. Shaven Landsman deep. Monterey pops it up. Whoa. La Sareva. Oh, puts it down. Valentin Anderson from the floor <laughs> trying to punch it over, but it's wide. Valentin Anderson was all over the court and then some, but the point goes to the vibe.
how do you even touch this ball? Valentina Anderson almost doing the splits, almost made that fist effort. <laughs> Just an incredible volleyball going back and forth. Atlanta's happy to come up with that one. 11 to 5 vibe. Member Meta on the service line. Oh, whipped through the middle. Tori Dixon. Valentine Anderson plays such fearless volleyball at that center. She was about seven feet off the net, forcing that one back to Dixon. Nice pass. Watch the movement. Coming off seven feet, forcing it. Dixon go ready for it. Yeah, circling right around it, the 10-year veteran of the USA national team. Five up, 11 to six. La Sareva able to rattle that through. It was slowed by Shaven Landsman, but nobody behind her. Ana La Sareva swinging with too much force for the vibe side out. Lazareva at 6-3, goes high into the hands. So if it comes back on your court, it's an easy cover ball. Just smart setting, smart delivery, and a kill. And a team high, 18 of those in the win, most recently against the Supernovas, and now the middle starting to open up for Omaha. Oh, you see it, Andy. Two in a row. This is where you expose something that you're going to remember through the match and also probably when you hit that final four. Christina Vujkova, 16th year pro from Bulgaria. She and Ana Lasareva know each other well. They were teammates in Turkey for Fenerbahce a couple of years back. Quick side out, Leah Edmond. This is a nice matchup. You have Valentin Anderson with Edmond, a shorter blocker compared to what Edmond can jump. You're going to see the vibe expose that matchup. Edmond's second kill of the set. Vibe jumped out to the 9 1 start. Popped across to Nunaviller. Member Mena, does she overcook it? Yes, just misses the corner. That's hard to do as a back row player coming in on the court, missing it just a little wide, but the ball is behind you a little bit. If you know you're going with pace and all your power is behind you, it tends to stay along. Makes it 13-8 vibe. Tight set and blocked. <laughs> Trying to go through the middle and fanning, but she was met at the summit. Vujkova. Vujkova taking the shot away. You saw Fanning make the move at the last second to hit it right. Nice move on that. Oh, but the service here by Nunaviller after the Supernovas had chopped that deficit in half. Atlanta this year, Keeley, 13-0 when winning the first set. Just 1-4 when they dropped the first. And now Edmund to float it in. The back set. Vujkova, deep cross. And she's starting to dial it up. You can feel it coming, Andy, <laughs> when you recognize, okay, we're getting kills in the middle. Vujkova going with two. Dixon going that deep corner. You see setter Valentin Anderson going, we know where the hot hand is. Let's keep working it. Just get me a pass. Coming off a seven-point effort in the win over Columbus. Serving to member Mena. Bonsere feeds La Sareva <laughs> from a sharp angle. <laughs> that was insane, Andy. She was slightly... Off the net in a little bit. Watch her go off the net. You're about eight feet back, cracking around the 10-foot oh. line at the right front defender. Impressive, Lazareva. 15 serving 10. None of Iller from the back, and that one is long. You know what Coach Bird is thinking right now? We need a pass to set the middles. We know we're about... 75% kill when we're going to the middle attack. If we're out of system right now, we're not getting kills. That was a key that Todd Dagenet identified when we caught up with him before the match. Slow in the middle, controlling the pin, the side out from De La Cruz. Beautiful deep corner between two defenders. That's just, I'm going for the court type of hit. Nicely done. This Omaha team coming off its second highest hitting percentage of the season, 310 in the win over Columbus. Down the line from Valentin Anderson. Member Mena up to her feet quickly, but dug out. Covered well in the back, and now none of Iller. Shaven Landsman, what a cut shot. <laughs> Let's just take a moment. None of Iller hit that out of the back row and did a self cover to keep it up. Going hard shot. That's a way to change it up. The hard mm. shots are picking up. Way to change up your shot. Remember, Shaben Landsman did not play in the Columbus win, but had 12 kills here at Gas South Arena in the Supernova sweep and a chance on the transition. 
The chip into the deficit further. Shaman Landsman was thinking cut shot again, but just couldn't guide that home. Those are recruited, scouted shot. When you watch video, Shaven Landsman knew from the first shot, that's what I've seen in video, and then took it again by taking a chance. Lazareva did make it a move. So back to serve is Lazareva. De La Cruz, oh, Lazareva laying out. Oh, and the quick set. Shaven Landsman has to lean back for it. Set from the back by Edmund to member Mena. De La Cruz down the line and just smokes that for the point. Then again, what else is new? Big swing <laughs> Betty, Bethania De La Cruz. Let's go in her libero, Gabby Thompson, a loca local Georgia na native, given a beautiful set on that. And former national champion with the Kentucky Wildcats, won that with the Vibes, Ali Linehan. Overpass off the De La Cruz serve. None of it was skying up. Hands laying what? out and dumped over for the point in Monterey. But that would not have been possible, Keeley, without some exquisite defense by Morgan Hens. Morgan Hens is one of those moments like, hold on to hope, guys. I'm laying out for this. And then she stuck it for her setter to do a deep tip. Incredible. Her season high in digs was in the season opener versus Omaha with 25 and a block. Yela Hashima turns it back to stretch the vibe lead back to six. Nice setup by Monterey, getting the close by Yela Hashima, recognizing Nunaviller was going for that cross court. Vibe, they're feeling great. Offensively, things are clicking. Defensively, we saw what Hens did, and now with the block, gosh, re representing that number one team seed. Now trying to go quick through the middle and just trickles over from Dixon. And look what happened, Andy. You got a pass, you're going middle. You have Dixon, and then now Vujkov is in your front row. You get something around the net. Valentina Anderson is doing an excellent job finding her middles. Tori Dixon season high in kills was set against the Vibe. Nine back in the season opener. And off the outside hand for the point from Edmund. That set barely cleared the antenna, but it wasn't like flat out. It gave a little drop in point. Edmund had her options. That one she chose to go hard to the line, try and go off the hands, came up with the kill. A third kill to go along with four digs for Leah Edmund in this first set. Ellie Linehan, former national champion, like we said, at Kentucky, set to go. Will she serve it to her former Wildcat teammate, Gabby Thompson? She absolutely does. <laughs> Lunging dig by member Mena, La Sereva. And a free ball now for the Vibe. Edmund cranks it for the kill. I'd do the same thing. You had Gabby Thompson taking La Sereva out of the offense to hopefully then just think about middle back Vuchkova trying to make a move, but Edmund beating her to the spot. You try to take La Sereva out, you still have to deal with Edmund, you still have to deal with Yelahashiva, member Mena. No shortage of weapons for Todd Dagenet's Vibe, who now hold a 21-14 lead in our first set. Todd Dagenet's crew trying to extend its winning streak to six, which would be a new long in the Pro Volleyball Federation. On Laura Bird Coons Club, swept the Vibe. Back here at Gas South Arena, February 29th, we've talked about Coach Bird coach of distinction in the college ranks in Miami, Kansas, and Texas A&M. But before all of that, she was known as Keely Evelyn's teammate at the Georgia Institute of Technology, and she was your first roommate in training camp her freshman year? Her you told freshman me? year, I was her roommate during that preseason. Oh, if those walls could talk. <laughs> yeah, if they could. You know, the funniest thing in our lead eight match, Bird always had it. She was off of one foot, ran a slide off of one foot, but picking up the off blocker tip wasn't her thing. But the time she did it in our lead eight match, picked up and then she decided to set it as well. It was like a shock to her. She jokes about it so much throughout. Like, Keely, I'm so sorry. I didn't even know about the off blocker. Now, as a coach, I can't, that's the only thing I think about. It must have felt like an out of body experience for <laughs> yeah. her. She, she just hasn't lived it down. She was part of that Georgia Tech team that upset number five Nebraska in 2004. It was the Cornhuskers' first home loss in five years. You wonder if she'd be <laughs> persona non grata now as the interim head coach in Omaha. 
Can't like that, though. Another block as the defense continues to tighten at the pin for the Vibe 22-14. You have Edmund pretty much going up on this solo. Fanning making the move, but Edmund says, hey, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Very complete first set for Leah Edmond. Linehan with another serve. High and wide and tipped over and down by Nunaviller. Well done. Good combination there from Valentin Anderson to Brooke Nunaviller, the former Oregon Duck. Playing at this level is all about figuring out how to get your points. On the previous attack, Nunaviller recognized the right back Lazareva was deep. So trying to look like she was going to hit, changing up for the tip shots, able to drop a kill. Nunaviller. Coming off her 11th double-double in the win over Columbus. Team captain for Coach Bird and the Supernovas. Trying to mount a late charge in this first set, trailing 22-15. Monterey going with the quick set and put down by Fanning. Over Baylor Bear able to pack it through the block. It is the accordion game. You work it in to work it out. Monterey is doing an excellent job. She's gone pin, worked the back row, now getting Fanning involved in the middle. Shelly Fanning, the former three-time All-American with Baylor, inching the vine closer to a first set win. That serve a little too fat. Side out for the Supernovas. If you're Atlanta Vibe, you're definitely feeling confident in your game. So a missed serve is no big deal. You have to stay on it, go for it, and for Nunaviller on the service line right now. Lekator member Mena has been the serving target, even though, Andy, she's passing dimes. The layout by Thompson. Nunaviller from the back. That's covered well by Hens. And one more for Edmund. She is lighting up this first set. That, that's what you call OTB. You're going over the block. Edmund leveling up. Power swing representing SEC Player of the Year. That is Elevate and Detonate. And now set point for the vibe and Edmund to serve. Crowd on its feet at Gas South Arena. Valentin Anderson up to De La Cruz for the side out. Normally a kill like that, De La Cruz with a lot of net to look at, you automatically think, oh, that's going down a kill. Morgan Hentz was sitting left back though, so you're like, really, is that gonna go down? <laughs> But De La Cruz said, yep, this one's going. Makes you hesitate for just a moment, not as clinical as it might be elsewhere. Betty De La Cruz, a franchise record, 585 hitting percentage in the win over Columbus. Set point and through the middle, Fanning punches it down and secures the set one win for the Vibe. Jumped on Omaha early, up 9-1 in the first, and they closed the first set 25-17. to now that was a statement first set, but still a lot more volleyball to be played in a matchup of first and second place in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Second set coming up next. It's going to be a big day, I think, of all the little girls in the stands right now. Dreams coming true, not only for these professionals, but the young little girls in the crowd saying, maybe one day I'll be out there too. You ain't seen nothing yet. This one slammed right into the block. Shelly Fanning ends it here in the A. Welcome home, Devon. Win it in straight sets and move to three and four. It's pro time, Nebraska. The Omaha Supernovas, your major league volleyball team, have exploded onto the scene with record crowds and a fan experience that is second to none. Next matchup is Saturday, April 20th, as we take on the San Diego Mojo at 6 p.m. Witness world-class talent, have fun with family and friends, and get to know this team. Secure your single match tickets for April 20th today at supernovas.com. What an absolutely beautiful spring evening in the Midwest as we welcome you live to Grand Rapids. This is the Volleyball Federation. And the left side, Chasse with a set point swing. Tom Com to Temi, and she wins it for San Diego.
It was the, the offensive game by Atlanta. Everybody on the team had a kill, even Setter Monterey. <laughs> five kills spread apart with Lazareva and Edmond getting the game going. And then Monterey, of course, set in the middle, just running a great show. We saw some flashes of momentum building from Omaha offensively, especially when they set the middles with Vujkova. And Dixon, do you think they'll be more deliberate in trying to do that earlier in this set? It's got to be the passing. Yes, the middle is the offense where you're finding it, getting a lot of kills there. You have to stick the pass, and Coach Bird knows that that is key. Valentin Anderson gets our second set started. Almost got the ace off the tape. Popped over by Lazareva, <laughs> almost. But the point to the Supernovas. You have a feel when you watch Lazareva, like anything touch it, she touches turns to gold. I actually <laughs> thought that ball, she's almost at her bench, was going to go over. Natalia Valentin Anderson, 13th year pro. Out of Caguas, Puerto Rico, franchise record 57 assists in the win over the Fury, her second 50 assist match of the season, and off the block and down for the point from Member Mena. The game of Member Mena is fearless. She saw a huge block in front of her. She went straight through the seam and high to ricochet that off to get the kill. Really dialed in, Lekator like Member Mena was in that beginning of the first set. That's parried away and dug up by Monterey. Member Mena has to take something off, couldn't commit to it. La Sareva, a little bit wide. You saw her having to backpedal on it and right into the wall for the Omaha point. You had Shaben Landsman out there rotationally going against Lazareva, taking it, knowing exactly the ball was going her way, taking away the cross-court shot because Lazareva was off the side of the court. And the set was from Fanning, but it does raise this point, even though that set was a little loose. Todd Dagenet told us he feels like he has the best collection of non-setter passers in the Pro Volleyball Federation, which teams are going to try to serve to Marley Montserrat, take her out, but you have players like Fanning, like Hentz, who are very capable in setting their teammates. And that is turned back from the middle. Impressively done. The Supernovas just want to create doubt in this moment, thinking, OK, we're going to try to take away that back row game just to cause Monterey to go elsewhere. If we can take away one part, then we can Focus in on the other. Yeah, Dixon, none of it were loaded up for it. Now off the slide, Yella Hashiva blocked. The center dump, well read by De La Cruz. Back to none of trying to go down the line and turn it. Omaha in front for the first time in this match, 3 2. Edmund has to take something off. Valentin Anderson the dig. The rally continues. Member Mena put some smoke on that. <laughs> Dixon puts it up. De La Cruz has it blocked away. Yela Hashiva ties us at three. Yela Hashiva was just waiting for an out of system ball. Dixon made a great dig on that, by the way. Out of system, Yela Hashiva getting the read, jumping right back on that ball. The all time leader in blocks in the rally scoring era in NCAA history, the number two pick in the Pro Volleyball Federation draft, Magda Yela Hashiva we should note, did not play in the first two matches versus the Supernovas when they met at the CHI Health Center in match three. Vibe won three sets to one, and Yela Hashiva certainly made her presence felt in that one. And how are you going to completely front Yela Hashiva? Try to make, but that pass caused it all. Gabby mm -hmm. Thompson dishing on that pass. And the points to the Supernovas on the hitting air by Leah Edmond. It is consistency. That's a beauty about volleyball compared to basketball. B basketball is ongoing. Volleyball, you start 0 0. I'll imagine like basketball starting 0 0 then in the next quarter and you win by quarters. Yelahashiva down the line. On the go behind Magda Yelahashiva. Makes it 5 4. You love Setter Monterey going back to that. Yelahashiva hit the one long in the first set, but the confidence is there. That Setter middle connection is there. Get it, Yala Hashiva. Had a vibe, a season high 615 hitting percentage in the sweep over Las Vegas on Monday. <laughs> Las Areva, soft over the block. Nunna Viller off hands for the side out. Just a smart attack. Nunna Viller hesitated on her swing, recognizing 
that Lazareva was jumping in, excuse me, Monterey was jumping in on that seam and went back to the line, the move it, movement, and get the tool. A far more crisp, connected offensive start to the second set for the Supernovas, so they put that one into the net. This is the risk you take, though. At this level, you cannot give like an easy serve, a lollipop going over there, because it's just going to come back down your throat. You have to go hard, so this is at this level. A lot of missed serves happen, but everybody's in control of their own serve. And the Supernova is the toughest serving team in the Pro Volleyball Federation. They lead the league in aces per set. One handed dig from the back by member Mena. Valentin Anderson feeds De La Cruz and off the block for the point. That's the exact same hit Nona Villar just made. That De La Cruz turned the ball back line, recognizing the right front was jumping in Lazareva this time, jumping in to the cross court shot. That, when you work the outside hand, when somebody jumps in, you get an easy tool off. And Betty De La Cruz has been locked in. 26 kills each of her last two matches. And an opportunity for the Supernovas to stretch this lead on the center dump. Valentin Anderson makes it 8-5. That's what you call edible right there. A ball up and down, dropping in on you. You hesitate just a little bit with your hands because you don't want to give it away early. Valentin Anderson says, that's money. <laughs> Former four-time best setter in the Puerto Rican League, Natalia Valentin Anderson. Todd Dagenet remembers her well when Todd was coaching UCF. Valentin Anderson was a star at FIU. Side on here from the Vibe and Shelly Fanning. Just loaded with talent. And just think that the Omaha has Sydney Hilly yeah. that she can they can go to at any time. Incredible depth in that setter position. Healy, if I didn't know, I'd say these were the top two teams in the Pro Volleyball Federation. They have talent. Tori Dixon, oh hands with the cover, but unable to be kept up. You talk about jumping on the grenade. Morgan Hens gave the vibe a chance, but just couldn't get it over. When you take one to the chest like that, you hope your teammates get it. Just that third contact move. Two players hesitated. Morgan Hens is, wants to pull her hair out in that moment. Yeah, Edmund and Montserrat didn't know which one was going to make a play on it. So now eight serving six. You know what I always said? If I knew I wasn't going for the ball, you just say, you, 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 because you know you're not calling mine on that. I can't imagine that happened often with you. Oh, if, yeah, the minute you don't know, you know you're not going for the ball. Ooh, get that block shape. The Van Landsman taking it straight down. Well, trying to run speed to the outside with member Mena, but nothing she could do there from Shaven Landsman. And you know Bird Coon loves Jess Shaven Landsman for many reasons, not the least of which she, like Bird Coon, a native of Ohio. Shaven Landsman, an excellent player also in college, just taken over the game at Iowa State. She also has a year of beach volleyball, just a lot of depth in her game and that defensive playing too. So now eight serving six. Brief hold up here, Monterey. Looks like we're all ready to go. Or this are we? Just checking the cameras. Okay, yeah, it should be 10-6, and it is. In this rotation, it's been going straight down the line at Lekator member Mena on that serving target. Let's see if she does it again. Going across to Lasareva instead. Bumped down by Fanning. That's covered by Valentin Anderson. Defense a lot tougher for the Supernovas as they stuff La Sereva at the pin and make it 11-6 Supernovas. Calling it carry on that. I'm not sure how. Jumping in. Oh, straight back through the legs. Dixon mm. knew she had the block that went so fast. And a timeout for Todd Dagenet and the Vibe. What a start to the second for the Supernovas up 11-6. What an absolutely beautiful spring evening in the Midwest as we welcome you live to Grand Rapids. This is the Volleyball Federation. And the left side, Jose with a set point swing. Tom Khan to Temi, and she wins it for San Diego. Reed.
baby, I'm a big deal, I got it like that. I did it again, who told you that I was finished? Fresh off the plane with a new money buddy. My hair stay laid and you know I get paid. Hundred dollar bills, I got racks on the way. I'm making them big moves, I won't stay quiet. Five foot six, but I feel like a giant. I got the source, I am the supplier. I can make them boys sing like the in the choir. I'm on top and I'm taking it higher. NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Back with you at Gas South Arena, Andy Demetra, Keely Evelyn, and our coverage of the Pro Volleyball Federation after a 25-17 defeat in set one. Supernova serving and leading 11-6. A lot stiffer defense that we've seen in the Supernovas in set two, Keeley. De La Cruz winds up, dug out by Hentz. Member Mena, point vibe. You know, you almost wonder if Morgan Hentz was a trash talker, how much trash talk she could do. She defends that left back with such authority. It's like anything hard coming her way, she's picking it up, allows the transition kill by member Mena. And once again drops the hammer, Lekator member Mena. Maybe if I'm thinking, if I'm Morgan Hens, I would talk a lot. <laughs> That's how good you are. And it's a sixth kill for member Mena, but a service error from the Vibe. And you just wait, Betty De La Cruz yeah. coming up. You just wonder if this is gonna be an ace in this moment. Yeah, look out below with Betty De La Cruz. Pro Volleyball Federation's ace leader. Oh, caught a draft, though. Omaha fans are saying, like, Keely, are you kidding me? You can't say that before she serves. We look forward to her serve, though. Yeah, sometimes when you praise too much. <laughs> right. Betty De La Cruz, two-time Olympian. Nice. Dixon swats it from the middle, but Hens is there once more. Overpass, joust at the net, and the point to the Vibe. So the middle attack's working. That's why Yella Hasova had to go all the way over with Dixon. You cannot sleep on the middle anymore. Holding strong on that overpass, getting it. Yeah, how about Montserrat winning the battle with Dixon? No small feat. Now nine serving 12. First ball contact, a lot sharper as well for the Supernovas, and they make it look easy with Nunna Villar. That is two in a row dimes when Gabby Thompson is passing the ball and serve receive. Setter Valentin Anderson is right at the net. That caused Yella Hashba to hold with Dixon and open the big hole for that kill. Gabby Thompson, who earned her first career start in the win over the Fury. And a tool for the point for member Meta. You know it has to be a special night for Gabby Thompson. Grew up in Buford, Georgia, about 12, 15 miles down the road from Gas South Arena. Former two-time Georgia Gatorade Player of the Year. You may also know her dad, Buddy, former two-time All-Pro linebacker with the Atlanta Falcons. What? Speaking of defense, how about member Mena? The back set, a little too close. Well, but now the vibe can't get on the same page. None of Iller, soft over the block, the diving dig by La Sareva. That's punched up by Thompson. Nutta Villar once more gets it blocked, but out. This is where bolt six is handy. Right away, the up official got the call for the all out ball. That ball went down so quickly, no hesitation by great technology. Yeah, you heard the roar of the crowd. They thought that was a clean block and said the side out to the Supernovas. Back up four. Edmund, <laughs> oh my goodness. She jumped so high, her ears pop. <laughs> yeah, to dream about that vertical right there. You have Edmund going over on the line. This is where she's working, guys. She's going high seam, which is that more line shot shifted in or straight down the line. Edmund is finding her kills. Leah Edmund had a vibe season high, 27 kills in that five set victory over Omaha on January 24th. 
It all starts with the pass in this moment. If Buchkova can get a point, uh, a set, you can get a kill. Well, the serve and pass has been so much more consistent for the vibe, or for the Supernovas, rather, in this second set. Uh, the timing thrown off as they tried to go with the reversal. The bump set, soft over the block. None of it has that deflected back. One more crack, but into the net. <laughs> okay, setter Monty getting some hang time on the previous attack to throw that one back to Nunaviller to cause that rally to go back around. Nice hang time, setter Monterey. You know, Marley Monterey was not Todd Dagenet's number one setter to begin the year, but where would this offense be without Marley Monterey? He told us before the match, she brings so much energy, so much balance, and just is an energy giver to this Omaha offense. So for his post and weaponize as this vibe offense can be. Don't sleep on Marley Monterey and what she's meant to unlock in uh, the, the, the efficiency of this vibe team. You can feel the energy. She's a fan favorite, brings the energy in fight, and a teammate like Fanning getting that block, bringing more momentum on their side. And a timeout called by Omaha with the deficit down to 1, 14, 13 Supernovas in our second set. Well, earlier this week, we saw the unveiling of the inaugural Pro Volleyball Federation Championship Trophy. It was already announced that Omaha will be the site of championship weekend. Every expectation, the vibe in Supernovas will be two of those teams that will be competing for that million-dollar prize. So like we said, tonight could be very well a championship preview in mid-May at the CHI Health Center. That's all we're thinking about, Andy. <laughs> we're thinking this could be the matchup, so you want to leave a statement. You want to learn as you continue to play because the real W that you want is in that championship match to bring home that million dollars to divvy up with your teammates. And uh, Todd Dagenet, we asked him about that, and he said, no, there's no extra magnitude to this matchup. We're preparing for this one no differently than we prepared for the thrill on Monday or the mojo on Wednesday. But that being said, you were a competitor, Keeley. You knew when you had a measuring stick type match with the team across from you. And so it maybe does have to register in the minds of these players that how we play in this final regular season matchup could be a very lasting impression going into the postseason, knowing we may face them again. Yes, exactly, Andy. You want to leave a statement, but you don't want to tick them off too much <laughs> that they're going to have momentum and some more passion than what you're seeing in the time you actually beat them. Uh, tapped over and down by Vujkova. And that is why, Andy, you only trash talk with your teammates. Yeah. You don't ever do it across the net. Why would you want to give other people motivation to beat you? You just want to make it easy, make your team look good, go home with the W. You'll want to stay on that right side of karma. <laughs> Christina Vujkova, three-time best blocker in the Chinese League. Here's <laughs> Lasareva swooping in down the line. That's capped up and bumped over by Valentin Anderson. Vibe have to reload. Lasareva once more. Slowed up at the net. Opportunity for De La Cruz off the block touch. It's kept up. Edmund slows down the speed. Pancaked up by Shaven Landsman. I'm surprised Kodashine did not challenge that. Oh, and a block, De La Cruz. <laughs> three in a row. There were three back row attacks with Lazareva in that rally. The question is that Chabin Landsman lay out for that last one. Beautiful block by De La Cruz, taking that away. And just like that, two straight by the Supernovas. The lead stretches back to three. And an out-of-system ball, Lacereva, though, too much smoke. Oh, what a dive from the back, and the rally continues. Edmund has it blocked. Two back-to-back -back emphatic blocks by the Supernovas. Buchkova is working her tail off, going sideline to sideline. You got to think about Lazareva in the back row, and then you have to cover Edmund on your left front. Buchkova, the middle block for Omaha, is working her butt off. Two blocks that came off some sensational defense by the Supernovas. And up 17-13. Tight set. That's slapped over by Fanning. The slide, and does it touch hands? It does. Buchkova on the swing. Supernova is the point. And I think a challenge might be forthcoming from Todd Dagenet in the vibe. And this is one you can't challenge. So mm. Monterey set the ball with her hands. 
and you have De La Cruz reached over and almost blocked the set. Monterey looked at the referee and was like, I was trying to set that ball. I wasn't attacking ah. it. And so on we play. 18-13. What a response out of the timeout by the Supernovas. Edmund again dug out from the back. That's none of Iller. De La Cruz into the net, however. But I'll tell you what, the Supernova's defense has risen to a different level here in the second. Yeah, whatever Coach Bird said in that timeout, the block touches have been better at the net, stuff blocks, and the back row game defensively has leveled up for Supernova's. Monterey the serve to De La Cruz. De La Cruz takes it back, tries to push it down the line, one hand dig over. Fanning, that's turned back. <laughs> Edmund winds up, gets it off the block for the point. Wow, just looking at that, you had incredible dig. Nunn Villa out of the out of the back row, just a scramble play, a lean back set, going line, changing her shot, yeah. trying to work it is Edmund. Give Leah Edmund a seventh kill. 18-15 Supernovas. Bump set, De La Cruz didn't have the angle. La Sereva through the block and down. You can almost feel that energy in the swing because La Sereva swung three attacks in the back row, did not get the kill in that one rally. So this was a moment of I'm making up for it, getting a quick kill for her team. Tell you what, I know La Sereva has had to work for it tonight, though. Yeah, that defense from Omaha is looking amazing. Supernova's on the attack. De La Cruz rattles it through. Side out, Supernova's. It's about the matchups in this moment. You saw Valentin Anderson coming slightly off. That ball was going out to De La Cruz, taking it with the seam was the shot. Eddie De La Cruz reigning Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week. She has been swinging a heavy hand of late. Incre two 26 kill matches. I was looking at those oh. numbers, shaking my head. That was incredible. They go quick to the outside. Edmund and the point to the Supernovas. Nice job, Valentin Anderson. Getting on that line shot, Dixon with the close. This is the comeback. You can feel it for Omaha. Yeah, after the vibe had narrowed the deficit to one, the lead stretches out now, and a timeout for the vibe. 18-15 our score in the second set. You know what I thought was funny when we were talking to Coach Bird? She was like, put her hands around her mouth, says, don't ask me the starting lineup because <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> she can go to her bench, it's so deep, you can see her mixing up the players even in this match. All right, 2016 is our score. Some issues with the score here on your screen and the score here on the video board at Gas South Arena, which is the one we normally consult. So just for the record, 2016 Supernovas in set number two. Fans are loving it right here. Look, I, I didn't go to school for math. <laughs> that old communications degree, that's why I'm here. You could have fooled me. The way you uh, talk, I could be like, you're like valedictorian and everything, Andy. Wasn't even that, so, but I appreciate the flattery nonetheless. Well, we are getting what we thought we would in this matchup of the top two teams in the Pro Volleyball Federation vibe on a five-match win streak. Supernovas, they're the more rested team. They've had nine days since their last match, which was the four-set win versus Columbus. Even though Todd Dagenet downplayed it when we talked about that with him before the match, this team played Las Vegas on Monday then San Diego. Both sweeps, but two matches three days apart with that travel back to the East Coast. His team, he says, they're professionals. They know how to get their bodies ready and primed for match night. But you do wonder if as this match progresses, if that may become a factor. You take the toll. So the benefit is you have the rhythm. It's solid. You've been working at UC out of a timeout. Monterey going right to her middle fanning to get that quick kill. So the rhythm is there. It's all about energy preservation. 17 serving 20, and Leah Edmond. 
Off her ninth double-doubled against San Diego. Quick set. And soft over the block. Dixon gets it down. One of those moments, an assistant coach on the sideline was like, the tip is open. So <laughs> out of a timeout, you relay that on to Dixon. Going right over Fanning. You have two defenders making a move, dropping a short one. And hands couldn't slither underneath that in time. As the Supernova is inching closer to evening up this match. Oh, up high, down hard, Shelly Fanning. Omaha fans sitting at home going, uh-oh. We cannot see Atlanta get their middles involved. Fanning two for two out of that timeout. Monterey clicking. Shelly Fanning snaps it down, takes a seat. 21-18. And now this is Whitney Bauer. In for the first time to serve. De La Cruz finds a seam. She's got a shot for every situation. The difference is this defensive and pass. You stick a pass, you got offense to run. De La Cruz going high through that seam. The ricochet off of Yelahashiva. It's been a quieter second set for Magdalena Yelahashiva. 22-18 with the Pro Volleyball Federation's Aces leader on the service line. Lazareva is your kill right now if you can get her the ball. Serving to Edmund. Monserey with the back set. Lazareva can't pound it down. None of it. Steps into it. And a layout dig by Edmund. Member Mena. Point five with some force. You watch the cut shot. You had Gabby Thompson digging the hard angle. And, Ma and Member Mena takes it a little sharper on that kill. Lasareva down the line. Great combination. None of it or makes it terminal. Andy, this is professional volleyball that you're witnessing right now. We have pros coming out, switching their game. Omaha getting that defense going. Started everything. That energy on the court is what, what's needed. Coach Bird knows you've got to ride the wave of passion and energy. Now it's right in rhythm to none of it. Yella Hasheva changes speed on the slot attack, gets it down. So you look at the score right now, you have 23-20. This is a, a drill you often do in practice. Your team's down. Do you have the grit at that service line to push points right now? The question is, with Lekator member men on the service line, can the Vibe do it? Oh, the quick set member Mena with the touch. Yelahashiva trying to go deep cross, but long. And now set point for the Supernovas. I think this one might be challenged to be right away. Lazareva looked at her coach, Dagenet, and said, Coach, I think there was a touch. Without hesitation, Coach Dagenet used his challenge call. Well, should that point stand 24-20, so you can understand the logic of at least getting a second look. But the story of this second set has been that Supernova's defense. Once you get that energy and defense going, it puts you on the offensive side. The scrambles are in your favor. I think getting the middles involved early really helped that offense. But Valentin Anderson, the setter for Omaha, is doing an excellent job now going pin to pin and spreading it out so the offense is not predictable. Call stands 24-20 in our second set. Shaman Landsman trying to serve out the second for Omaha. Hence, Monterey, Yelahashiva has that slowed up. Back to Nunaviller. Pushed over and down. Great scramble. I thought Nunaviller actually had that first tip to go down. Not today. Atlanta Vibes defense showing out to save that set point. 24 21, Yelahashiva to serve. Omaha allows the fewest aces in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Atlanta not really known for its service ace prowess. You have a slide and outside tack going right now. In rhythm to none of it, that trickles over the tape. Here is Edmund. The dig by De La Cruz, and the point for none of it. 
finishes off an impressive, resilient second set for the Supernovas. 25-21 and all square at a set apiece between the top two teams in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Our action continues from Atlanta after this. It's going to be a big day, I think, of all the little girls in the stands right now. Dreams coming true, not only for these professionals, but the young little girls in the crowd saying, maybe one day I'll be out there too. You ain't seen nothing yet. This one slammed right into the block. Shelly Fanning injured here in the A. Welcome home, Devon. Win it in straight sets and move to three and four. It's pro time, Nebraska. The Omaha Supernovas, your major league volleyball team, have exploded onto the scene with record crowds and a fan experience that is second to none. Next matchup is Saturday, April 20th, as we take on the San Diego Mojo at 6 p.m. Witness world-class talent, have fun with family and friends, and get to know this team. Secure your single match tickets for April 20th today at supernovas.com. What an absolutely beautiful spring evening in the Midwest as we welcome you live to Grand Rapids. This is the Volleyball Federation. And the left side, Chasse with a set point swing. Tom Tom to Temi, and she wins it for San Diego. Great atmosphere tonight inside Gas South Arena as we welcome you back to our presentation of the Pro Volleyball Federation on YouTube. Mandy Demetra and Keely Evelyn, Atlanta and Omaha tied at one set apiece. No surprise, it would be tightly contested between the top two teams in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Atlanta with a, a two and a half match lead, but they played two more matches than the Supernovas to this point. But quite a turnaround from set one to set two for Omaha. 
Omaha did an excellent job holding Atlanta to a 11% hitting efficiency. Getting the offense going really worked in the first set, but Omaha stepped up that defensive game, had 11 block touches so far in this match, really slowing down the offense, frustrating that offensive powerhouse team that we've seen with Atlanta. And Natalia Valentin Anderson, very good running the show in that second set. Certainly some big swings from Nunna Villar and De La Cruz as well until anybody's match in Atlanta. We're back after this. Welcome back to Atlanta. Pro Volleyball proudly invests in the next generation of leaders by partnering with the nonprofit organization Girl Talk. Through peer to peer mentoring, Girl Talk works to help all girls gain practical leadership experience. Girls interested in starting a Girl Talk club or joining one of the hundred existing clubs across the nation can visit mygirltalk.org.
into Demetra Keeley Evelyn back with you at Gas South Arena. And interesting how the numbers uh, in that second set were almost completely flipped around between Omaha and Atlanta. You can see Omaha just coming back in the match. The first ma set took him a little bit to get going, but it was all to set up for that second set turnaround coming up. Just about evening out the amount of kills and then opponent errors forcing Atlanta to make a second move doing a great job. You have like to remember Mena leading the team with the nine kills for Atlanta Vibe. Yellow Hashva taking that line shot, but it's a matter of getting the full attack going again. Can Atlanta come out, stick passes, because that block for Omaha is looking strong. Yeah, very few first shot kills or side outs by Atlanta in that second set. By the way, the Vibe, Keeley had only lost one set in his last four home matches. But they concede the second to Omaha. So no chance at a Pro Volleyball Federation high ninth sweep this season for the Vibe. I'm excited for this third set. It could go any number of ways, can't it? We talked before the match, and we're like, no way we walk out of here in three sets. Oh, no. These two teams are too good. They can learn from each other so quickly. So now we go third set. You got two under your belt. How quickly can you adjust and do what you've seen exposed to to take advantage of any weakness, which I'm like, is there a weakness? I think a lot of people are wondering that same thing with both of these clubs. Like a tour member, men of the service, underway in the third. The setter dump dug out by La Sareva. Here's Shaven Landsman, needed to reach back for it. Little off platform from the former Iowa State Cyclone. De La Cruz gets blocked. That's dug up by Thompson. One more blocked from Shaven Landsman. Well, first point of this set is going to be hard earned. The one handed dig by member Mena popped up to Edmund, who steps into it. <laughs> All you can do is just shake your hand. La Sareva, though, gets it erased by Dixon. Point Supernovas. If this only sets us up for what's to come, that was just the first point, Andy, in the third set. That felt like match point, how much energy we saw coming out. It felt like those long scrambles, long rallies went to the Supernovas in the second set, and from that they generated a lot of confidence. And so ahead, 1-0. Edmund gets it down. You can see Atlanta Vibe shifting their rotations on the start. Yelahashva got the front row for the block. You put Edmund now in the front row rotation for three before she rotates out to serve. Atlanta knows they need her offense on that pin to win this game. Serving to Thompson. And with authority, the kill by Shaven Landsman. This is where you love bolt six. That ball was almost kissed yeah. on the line. It could have gone either way, but with 22 cameras calling the lines right there, getting a kill is Landsman, Shaven Landsman. A dozen kills for Jess Shaven Landsman in each of her last two matches with the Vibe. Monterey underneath it, reversing it, and a point from Fanning. Even if you don't connect on a clean set attack, you have to get your middles going. I like Fanning going on a slide, sideline to sideline, causing a little move, movement, but you got to get her going. I love Monterey going back to her. It's not how they set up Shelly Fanning often, but effective there as Monterey serves, tied at two. Dixon blocked and unable to be kept up. Fanning, that's what she does best. This is the Leah Edmond game that she's good. You can own the net on the block. You got Fanning helping with the close. Edmond jumps back into the seam, but Edmond getting the three rotation start is the difference right now for Atlanta Vibe. Yeah, Edmond will get credited with that block. Fanning on the way down, punches that into the net, point supernovas. You can see Coach Dagenet telling Monterey to get the middles going. That's multiple sets to Fanning to try to establish some type of middle. Now, unsuccessful there, and we're tied at three. As you get a look at Tori Dixon, seventh year pro from Minnesota. Played internationally in Azerbaijan, Japan, Italy, China. 
Alternate on the U.S. Olympic team in 2016 and 2020. Out of system ball, and it turns into a free ball for the Supernovas. Off the tight set. And off the block touch, La Sareva winding up and pushing it through. La Sareva made the first blocking move to slow the ball down. That was incredible. Stayed on the left front side and then finishing off with a kill, going hard through that seam, trying to make the move is Vushkova. Kill number seven, but the service air ties us back at four. You look in these rotations, you now have Legator member Mena in the front row with setter Valentin Anderson. This is a matchup we have not seen so far for three rotations. See if they go to member Mena and said through the middle, but Fanning is blocked. Vujkova. That's the hang time with Vojkova trying to take her, her hands were just up, and then she makes an extra wide hand move to jump back on that with Fanning's shot. Fine blocks the last time these teams met, but a service error brings us back level. You can almost feel like both, all the nerves are gone if there were any. Both teams have settled into their game. Pretty impressive how they're fighting back, and we're not really sure who's coming out with better energy right now. And that is popped long. Supernovas thought there was a touch. Call on the court is a vibe point. Coach Bird deciding not to use her challenge card, looking at the player saying, I didn't see one. Laura Kuhn, I think she'd be more offended if you call her Laura. <laughs> right. Everybody in volleyball knows her as Bird. Yeah, she's like Beyonce, like only <laughs> needs one name. And the tool and the point from member Mena. <laughs> yes, right there. You get member Mena lined up. You have Valentin Anderson trying to take away that power shot line. Nice change up. Opens up a 7-5 lead for the Vibe here in set three. Nana Viller gets it off the inside hand of Yelahashova. So Nana Villa recognized that Shelly Fanning was playing left back. She took off pace on that attack, but hit toward the left back, trying to make Fanning make the dive move forward. Brooke Nana Villa, who made her national team debut in the Volleyball Nations League last year. Quick set and swatted down Yella Hashiva. Yella Hashiva did a much better job showing that she was going to hit toward her right and that the last second takes this ball left yeah. that little hesitation Vuchkova thought she was going to go right not able to come back on that crossbody shot yeah nice little okey doke there by Yella Hashiva making the mid-air adjustment another service here though from the vibe still yeah. anyone's game you have a three a two hitter situation you can't sleep on two back row attacks from Yella Hashiva excuse me Lazareva and Edmund Vujko to, to serve, floats it to member Mena. Slide attack, Yela Hashiva crushes it. Just hammers that down the line. One of those moments, Coach Dajani said, Coach, excuse me, Setter Monterey, keep going that slide attack. It's been working. Even though we missed it long in that first set, we can go back to it. Feeling her rhythm on that slide is Yela Hashiva. Some of the vibe coaches have worked with Magda Yela Hashiva on throughout this season. Increasingly effective, and the ace serving to De La Cruz. Member Mena tallies one, and the vibe stretch the lead back out. De La Cruz clapping her hands like, bring it again, knowing <laughs> Lucky Tour member Mena is probably going to come right back to her. This time going to Nunaviller. De La Cruz having to lean back, but still finessing it down. Once you catch a blocker with gravity, so you saw Yelahashiva dropping on the shot. De La Cruz hesitated, and she was about eight feet off the net, hitting that ball back into the falling block. That's what caused that ball to drop. That just shows the volleyball IQ of a veteran like Betty De La Cruz. Olympian, 22nd year as a pro. Tipped over down the line. Does it catch a hand? No. Edmund pretty adamant that it did. <laughs> and Todd Dagenet marching to the up official. He may want to review. You had Legador member oh. Mena attacking Coach Dagenet saying, Coach, you got to use your challenge call on this one. And the call is overturned. Side out to the vibe. 
That's when a coach has the players back because you saw member Mena just run up to Coach Dash and <laughs> he said, I saw it, Coach. Yeah, you're not going to do that on, under false pretenses. Shaven Landsman trying to find a seam. And looks like that did hit the court in front of the layout from Yelahashiva. Bit of a delay, point to the Supernovas. And Todd Dagenet wants another conversation here. Coach Bird right away recognized that ball hit the bounce, and then Yelahashiva made the defensive move, but the ball did touch the floor. That was good acting, though. It looked like you got it. Yeah. There was just a little bit of hesitation after that pancake by Yelahashiva where it – it didn't seem like or teammates were acting as though it didn't catch the court. I think Coach Dagenet is checking. Did Coach Bird use a challenge call, or was that a referee call on that mm. if the ball was down? You definitely want to give it. Either way, Coach Dagenet is coming up with this not point. Yeah, Ar <laughs> Omaha earns the point to make it 11-9. If this set continues to play tight, something to keep in mind, Keita Eveland, Atlanta's 16 and one this year in sets decided by two points. Trying to fend off the serve from De La Cruz. What a spin set by Monterey de La Sareva, but that's dug out from the back. Wow. Oh, and how about the defense by member Mena? We have seen some elite defense on both sides of the net tonight. There's the layout dig by Hanson, oh. at least in the Edmund swing, and that one. Kept up, all but not batted over, point to the vibe. <laughs> Both teams putting it all out on the floor on that rally. This is the first and second ranked teams in the league showing want to. Going out, good just scramble. Member Menez says, I got your back. Lays out for that to keep the rally in play. Just incredible defense. And then you, um, Hens picked up another one. That's how you do it. We have seen some highlight reel defensive plays from both the Vibe and the Supernovas tonight. Neither team given an inch. 12-9 though, following the Vibe point. De La Cruz is down the line on this. That's the good line shot to go for on the serve if you get it. Monterey meanwhile coming off a season high six kills in the sweep over San Diego. And that is blocked as they try to go outside of the pin, but the double block erases that. And now the Vibe starting to open up a lead here in the third. Coach Dagenet knows if we need blocking in the left front, Edmund is just insanely takes away that court in the net. 13 serving nine, hands with the dig, and can that be bumped over? No. Those plays are fun, though. The layout, the scramble. Well, just the way that both teams are defending, even that, you think, oh, there's <laughs> got to be a chance the rally continues. Right. Instead, the Supernovas side out. And Dixon serves down the line. And that one catches a seam from Shelly Fanning. Fanning taking a page out of Dixon's book, dropping that tip shot in the previous set. Fanning's like, I got it too. Going right over that block short. Defender's not able to make that hard move short. Valentin Anderson with the back set and punched down by Shaven Landsman. Boy, when she is in rhythm, there is not a lot you can do to stop it. And that was her one rotation with Lekator member Mena as a left front blocker going against. Now the matchup, you have Shaven Landsman back to serve. She's a back row player right now. Coach Kuhn does call her her most consistent player, the rookie from Iowa State. Member Mena trying to go through the block, has it denied. The blocking combination between Vuchkova and Dixon at the net is just incredible. It makes the net short, taking away this jump in, hard angle shot, Vuchkova, long arms, <laughs> and even better jump, getting that draw back. So two in a row, make it three in a row for the Supernovas, and it's 14-13. League leaders and aces gets one from Shaven Landsman. Coach Bird says in her practice, she takes time, a lot of time on that service game, knowing that if they get any team out of system, they have a good transition offense to run. Back-to-back -back ace, nope, that's dug out. And soft over the block goes member Mena. Taken off the net by the Supernovas. Edmund from the back, and that's kept up. Hence, 
the bump set. Member Mana going off speed, pancaked up, rally continues. Down the line, Lazareva gets the kill. Lazareva stayed with some hang time is one of those moments. Why work harder when you can work smarter? Instead of cracking that ball, sending that ball with her fish shot to open court. And yeah, just saving a harder swing for later. Vibe had to earn that one, but Atlanta first to 15 here in the third. As the sun continues to shine on the inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation, the stage is set for the crowning of the champion. An energetic Saturday night here inside Gastown Arena. Vibe and the mojo at our first In the heart of competition, Pro Volleyball Federation has ignited a firestorm of excitement. Captivating audience and athletes alike with every match. But behind every spike, every dive, there's been a force driving excellence. Grand Athletics. And then the solo block right Grand on. Athletics proudly champions the success of the Pro Volleyball Federation's first season. Here's to many more victories on the horizon. China Joseph with a NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Andy Demetra, Keely Evelyn, welcome back to Gas South Arena. Midway through our third set, Vibe 15, Supernovas 13. And a matchup you feel Pro Volleyball Federation fans around the country are watching tonight. And they've been treated to a show as these teams trade haymakers inside Gas South Arena. Atlanta Vibe is coming out with some strong Offense, 45% kill percentage. Omaha still getting it going, but it's been the service line game. You have overall 13 solid serves, one ace, but it's been the great serves throughout the match really causing the chaos for a vibe. Yeah, if there is an emoji maybe to describe this match, maybe the flex. Both teams yeah. are showing off their muscle and why they're the top two teams in the league. Down the line, and why? No, they'll say it caught a hand. Point Supernovas, none of Villar. Now you got me thinking emojis. You got fire emoji. <laughs> you got the star eyes emoji. But yeah, get yeah. it going. You got you, all you of got them thrown in. You got any number to, to, to <laughs> pick from here. But hopefully, yeah, you don't want one of those other emojis if no, you walk no, no. away. Oh, wow. Swatting it down, Yella Hashiva. That's been automatic for Atlanta Vibe. Out of a timeout, encouraging Monterey to get the middles going. Yelahashva taking it up one-on-one, -on -one, avoiding Vuchkova on that shot. That was picture-perfect set for Marley Monterey. Ooh, nice set. Slowed up at the net by member Mena. Now Edmund flying in, and that did catch a hand. <laughs> it sailed well long, and to the disbelief of the Supernovas, the point goes to the Vibe. And, you know, I played my playing days in Spain, and all I got is muchas gracias <laughs> right there. You're like, thank you for touching that ball. That ball was sailing long. Looked like it rattled the fingers of Vuchkova. 17 serving 14 in the third. De La Cruz winds it up. Turned away by Hens. And now off the deflection and down. Vibe stressed the lead back to four and Edmund. If you're a young setter, you want to watch this. Setter Monterey goes right back to the hitter that maybe didn't connect on the last ball. Edmund's here for it, changing up her shot, making sure that ball had top spin on it. 11th kill for Leah Edmund. <laughs> oh, and a block from member Mena. And now do we have a line violation as De La Cruz goes down and the point appears to go to the vibe. Hopefully she's okay in this moment. That hang time at the net. You know, I was watching the finals in basketball for the NCAA that we just experienced with March Madness. There's, it's physical, right? Mm -hmm. But in volleyball, if you touch anybody, it's not a good thing, no. right? You can't touch an opponent. If you run into a teammate, not so much a good thing. So hopefully De La Cruz is okay in this moment. And giving some time to compose herself. We'll see where she got tangled up with Dixon. Oh, yeah, mid-air collision. Or was that Valentin Anderson? Yeah, Valentin Anderson. And it's kind of an awkward landing there by De La Cruz. So an injury stoppage here. 18-14 vibe in our third set. Don't want to see Vaf from the 
reigning Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week. And was coming off season highs and kills each of her last two matches. But what has enabled the vibe, Keely, in set number three to put a gap on the Supernovas? I think setter Monterey is doing an excellent job going right back to the attacker that where she knows she can get a kill and didn't get one on the last one, but the blocking game. Starting Leah Edmond in the left front was a game changer. She took away the attack strong, left a blocking presence, and then offensively lit it up in her front row rotations. Yeah, the blocking of the Supernovas has been largely neutralized in this third set. Teams meeting for a fourth time this season, including the historic first ever matchup in Pro Volleyball Federation history, in which the Vibe won the first two sets. Supernovas rallied to force a fifth. Vibe escaped with the win. And when they met here on February 29, Supernovas dealt the Vibe, still their only three set loss of the year before March 14th back in Omaha when the Vibe won in four. Off speed and through that point from Nunaviller. Great job by Nunaviller showing tip shots. So she showed it early. You see Lazareva making the move left, thinking she was going to tip over the middle. Nunaviller changed her shot, went to the left to get it to drop. Oh, yeah, you saw that double clutch. Rick Nunaviller, Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week back on March 12th. Season high in kills was 24. She did that versus Grand Rapids. But the service here gives a side out to the vibe. And they're the first of 20. A lead of like three feels like an eternity to come back with in the Pro Volleyball Federation. The Vibe have a, a nice cushion of five, but you cannot sleep on Omaha. Now, not with the way both teams are playing defensively. Good to see De La Cruz back out there. Block touch, chance for the Vibe, and La Sereva. Valentin Anderson. Dishing to De La Cruz. Great cover down the line by member Meta. Edmund takes a line <laughs> shot. That's down for the point. <laughs> yes, member Mena running the back row like a Libero, keeping rallies up and going. I love that Edmund recognized Monterey, was leaning back in a little trouble. Watch how she comes in, started wide, recognized the trouble, comes in, takes yeah. the line shot back. That was a tight set by Monterey, but an even better dig by Lekator member Mena. And another point for the Vibe. And all of a sudden, it's 22-15 Atlanta. This is what the Vibe can do. You look up, and all of a sudden, you're down seven. And a timeout from the Supernovas as Atlanta closes in on a third set victory. It's the defensive game. Number one on your screen, Legator member Mena. Ru passes numbers, Coach Dagenay says, like a leap row. Keeps her on the court, and that adds the power in the front row. Didn't start at the beginning of the season, but really worked her way into the lineup. And, and that leads into a point that Coach Dagenay told us before the match, where he really likes his team, and I think explains why it feels like the vibe on a given night, that, that, that there's no evident weakness in them. Because Tom Dagenet says, I have players who are really good at their secondary roles. Like a tour member of Mena, we'll give her as the example. Physical outside hitter, swings with so much velocity, but we've seen some layout digs. She's a better than average passer. A Morgan Hens, maybe the best defensive player in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Well, she's just as capable in the setting game. And so it's those secondary roles that the vibe play with that brings them such a level of consistency where it's hard to find that soft spot in them trying to attack. And you have a bench. You add that vibe starting lineup. Then you go deep into the bench. Coach Dagenet runs with the solid group. We, we know the more or less the starting lineup going with. And then he can play and go into the bench at any given moment. Now for Omaha, Bird, Coach Bird mixes it up all the time, going with whatever works, going to the depth easier and quicker for the side for the Supernovas. And to that point, Sydney Henley comes in off the timeout. Seen her and Valentina Anderson kind of toggle setting roles. Henley did not play in the Columbus match. Member Mena serving with the vibe up seven. Slide trying to be pounded down. That's turned away from the middle by Monterey. Javen Landsman has to go off speed. Edmund. Wow. Points. <laughs> vibe. 
let's all take a moment and appreciate the defense for Morgan Hen. She picked up the slide attack from Dixon. I thought the ball was going down, but she said, no, let me go ahead and give my set, give a set to Edmund for that kill. It's almost like we were talking about the Vine players excelling in their secondary roles. Overpass, and that one is stuffed home by the Supernovas. You have a setter, Sydney Hilly, a stronger blocker. She's six feet tall, closing it up. I would match Hilly also with Edmund. When you know the height advantage was to Edmund's benefit with Valentin Anderson, this is why Hilly coming in for some block. Hilly, the member of Team USA, former national champion with the Wisconsin Badgers. De La Cruz overcooks the hard cross. And it's set point for the Vibe in the third. So going deep in the bench, you have Hilly getting the start right now. Will she start in this fourth set? I think you go with her just to cause something different. But again, you get the pass going. Let's see if you can get the middle with Dixon involved. Yeah, one more point for the Vibe to get as they turn to Linehan. Hilly, Dixon got it blocked. Shaven Land's been dug out by Linehan. Monsery runs underneath it. Oh. Edmund! Oh, but a great cover by Thompson. But the block by Fanning. And with that block, Atlanta runs away from Omaha in the third set. 25 to 16 to the fourth in Atlanta after this. It's going to be a big day, I think, of all the little girls in the stands right now. Dreams coming true, not only for these professionals, but the young little girls in the crowd saying, maybe one day I'll be out there too. You ain't seen nothing yet. This one slammed right into the block. Shelly Fanning engine here in the A. Welcome home. The Vine win it in straight sets and move to three and four. It's pro time, Nebraska. The Omaha Supernovas, your major league volleyball team, have exploded onto the scene with record crowds and a fan experience that is second to none. Next matchup is Saturday, April 20th, as we take on the San Diego Mojo at 6 p.m. Witness world-class talent, have fun with family and friends, and get to know this team. Secure your single match tickets for April 20th today at supernovas.com. Atlanta behind 17 points from the unanimous preseason all-league selection. Outside hitter Leah Edmond now up two sets to one over Omaha 
As we get set for the fourth at Gas South Arena, Keeley, what adjustments do you think the Supernovas might make to bring this match on level terms? You have to inc improve your passing. So in serve receive, you know that De La Cruz is the serving target. Try to take her a little more, less stress, take a little more room so you can protect her on that service game. You have to stick the pass, and then defensively, can you slow down Edmund? She went lights out in that match. Gabby Thompson begins as the libero for the Supernovas here in set four, La Sareva. And she sails that swing, point Supernovas. La Sareva has a personality of being a perfectionist. I don't know her well, but just watching her, if she misses a, a hit like that, it only revs her up. So you know the next one's going to come out with a lot more power. It only sharpens her focus more. Off the tight set and has to be punched over. Dixon, oh, <laughs> hands sprawling out for that dig. Omaha tried to take control early in our fourth. Member Mena from a tough angle. Kept up by Hens. And off the transition from the back, another dig by Hens. Member Mena blocked by Dixon. Oh, that's testing power to discipline. Incredible defense on the side with the vibe to keep those rallies alive. But Dixon shut it down, took the momentum back on the side of the Supernovas with that clamp block. Yeah, Tori Dixon has had her moments in this match, helping the Supernovas to a 2-0 start. Member Mena, does that catch a line? No. Off the hand and down, point to the vibe. This is what I love about Pro Volleyball Federation with both six. There's no arguing. In the college game, there's so much arguing. Is the, the camera and angle correct, all that? But right away, we're getting a call yep. is out by inches. No protest, and we play on. We keep the pace. Oh, that was a tight slide by Dixon. Didn't have a lot of room to work with there, Keeley, but she's able to groove it down. You look at Dixon, she's got experience, was alternate in the Olympics. She knows what it takes to level up, put her team on her back. That's two for two, just block and now coming up with a kill. Coach Kuhn says she sees the game, very calm demeanor, good center point for the defense as well. As Yela Hasheva muscles that through for the Vibe side out. And of course, Tori Dixon, three-time All-American with the Golden Gophers at Minnesota. That was the right idea. You got Yelhashva going on that slide right back. Mayfield getting the start mm. on the left front for Omaha in this set. First time we've seen her off the overpass. De La Cruz is there. Hence the bump set. Edmund Long. <laughs> you almost feel there's a connection between Hilly and Dixon. Dixon's experience ball at the net when she's coming. She's doing an excellent job on the blocking front, but you can see Hilly's really trying to find her on that first ball attack. Supernova's up 4-2. The member Mena, the center dump, well read. <laughs> Shaven Landsman. Edmund off speed for the point. Andy, that's a little R-E-S-B-E-C-T. <laughs> Defenders are sitting back on their heels because you know I just came up looking like I was going to go hard, and Edmund dropping it with a little roll shot over the block. So an 18th point for Leah Edmund tonight. Shaven Landsman, oh, thundering it down. Great set by Hilly, dropping with her hands almost to the floor and then reversing it low and back to cause the seam for her right side, Shaven Landsman. You know, Sydney Hilly did not play in that Columbus match nine days ago, Keeley, but the previous week she was Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week and had a then franchise record 51 assists in the win versus Grand Rapids. Meanwhile, nothing you can do when it's coming in hot like that from Edmund. Those are some big eyes, high five in her teammate. You take that sharp of a shot, we get the official replay of yeah. this ball will definitely be called in on that line. I think Bolt Six initially showed out, but it was in. And so tally another one for Edmund. Supernova's up 5-4. On well, the time and off, it looks like there was a slip there and the point to the vibe. You know, the, with both takes, with out or in, mm. as a, you know, like Steph Curry taking a shot, like right away off his hands, he <laughs> knows if that ball was in or out or not. You had Edmund on the previous strong cut shot attack. She knew that the ball was out. This one cleared the antenna on the wide side. 
causing Atlanta to get the point. Free ball now for the Vibe with a chance to take the lead here in the third. And that one gets down from Edmund and she gives the shoulder shrug. <laughs> but this is where you feel it in the communication with their teammate, the trust. You have Hen saying where your shot is, where defenders are sitting. Shaven Landsman sitting deep down the line. You wonder if Hen's relay do a tip shot right over yeah. the block on the next attack. It's probably saying it don't all have to be pretty. Off the back set and the point to the Supernovas. How pretty was that? Oh, that was a quick wrist. Going right behind Gideon Vuchkova. So explosive off the ground, even on one, ta one foot, elevates even further. Rostina Vuchkova throws it down, the 16th year pro from Bulgaria. Monterey, quick set, point vibe fanning it. You called it, Andy, a quick set. You do not want Vuchkova to get set up and make a strong move. That ball was even lower. Fanning cut it right around yeah. before a solid block could get up in front of her. Yeah, because Vuchkova has asserted herself as one of the more fearsome middle blockers in this league. Edmund keeps it up. Hands high and wide to La Sareva. De La Cruz through the double block. Block touch vibe. Edmund, oh, great layout by Thompson. Vime reload. Member Mena steps into it. Shaven Landsman gets it down. And you see Leah Edmund smack the cord. She and La Sareva were both within range, but neither could commit to it. You see the combination. You want to cross that defending move. You see Edmund and Monterey looking at each other for that little hesitation, like, oh, we both should have gone for that. Well, that gives Shaven Landsman a team high 12 points. Had her season high in hitting percentage against the vibe at Gas South Arena in late February, and we're tied at seven. Monterey the set, blocked through the middle on the swing from Fanning. La Sareva measures it and throws it down. I think Omaha's doing an excellent job s slowing down La Zareva. She started out the first set with five kills, now has nine. So mm. in multiple sets, just held La Zareva to four kills. Well, one of the reasons the Vibe are setting the pace in the Pro Volleyball Federation 14 and four, you slow down La Sareva, you still got to deal with Edmund and member men, and the list goes on as the Vibe steal the point to take the 9-7 lead. You were right, Andy. To win this league, you need a deep offense. And right here, member Mena going up with the block. That defensive side really working for Vibe. And then they're five hitters deep offensively. Another joust at the net. De La Cruz, sharp angle, tools it for the point. That is called being a 16th year pro. Beg your pardon. I don't want to short Betty De La Cruz, a 22nd year pro, <laughs> yes. knowing exactly the shot to pull out. That's just finesse. You see a block, change, you slow up your shot, going off the outside hand, forcing the ball to go out of bounds, where no defense stands out of bounds. Yeah, she's not just big swing Betty. She's got some finesse in the game as well. There was nothing finesse about that one from Liela Hashiva. Up high, down hard, elevate and detonate. You could almost hear Yel Hashiva yelling, yeah, 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 I'm coming, here I go. Right here, going right straight over, recognizing Dixon was making a move to her right. Vibe up 10-8. And that one catches the corner for the Supernova's point. That's a good set. So you put a De La Cruz right on the line shot. She has a tight look to look at the blocker's hands and get two easy kills before she goes back to serve. De La Cruz with one ace so far. Rips the top spin. Monsere the back set. And Yella Hashiva, a flamethrower here in the fourth. Leah Edmond is an excellent passer, but this one came bullet right on the money. That caused the defense and block scramble. If you don't get a solid setup, defender's not able to set up around the block. Monterey and Yelahashiva have been in rhythm here in the fourth. And a collision there at the pin as Monterey hit the padding. This is one player for Atlanta vibe. You do not yeah. want to go down. You saw her teammates reaching over, like <laughs> trying to pick her up, living in denial for a second, like you better get off the floor. 
Oh, right. yeah, Landon right there on top of, who is that, Hilly, I believe? Or a little obscured. Probably Mayfield. Yeah, you're right, Mayfield. But 12-9, the point does go to Atlanta. Dixon chops it straight through over the top of the middle block. That Hilly to Dixon one-two punch is working in this set. Hilly's feeling really confident with what Dixon can do. The only bad news for Supernovas right now, Dixon is now back to serve and now in, not in that offense in the front row. Yeah, Dixon only had three kills and 12 attacks in the win over Columbus. She's made her presence felt tonight as that one unable to be kept up from the back. Another point for Leah Edmond. You saw right away she gave Henson high five. Hence was calling the shot. This is what makes that libero position so important. You get a view of the block and defense, helping your hitter about where to go. And Morgan Hens preseason all league, very likely be postseason all league as well. Fourth year pro from Stanford. I'm hoping to see her in the Olympics. I'm telling you what. Saw the news not too long ago that Asia O'Neill. Member of Team USA, congratulations to the number one overall pick in the inaugural Pro Volleyball Federation draft. 13-10, vibe on top, and a free ball. Monterey reversing and a tight angle kill by Fanning. Boy, did she get around and wrap the hand around that, Keeley. That sharp shot, you don't have to hit hard as much as precise because Shaven Landsman's coming off the net. You gotta go all the way to the 10 foot line from a net blocking move. And now the A's keeps the pressure on the Supernovas. 15-10 as we've hit timeout in the fourth. Vibe getting on a run and could this help propel them to another victory over the Supernovas as we've hit timeout in Atlanta. It's pro time, Nebraska. The Omaha Supernovas, your major league volleyball team, have exploded onto the scene with record crowds and a fan experience that is second to none. Next matchup is Saturday, April 20th, as we take on the San Diego Mojo at 6 p.m. Witness world-class talent, have fun with family and friends, and get to know this team. Secure your single match tickets for April 20th today at supernovas.com. Tonight. Some nights everything just goes right. I feel like Betty De La Cruz has started out that way tonight. Sir, De La Cruz turns up the power. Here's De La Cruz. Too much to handle. Oh my. There's no better top spin serve in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Since you gotta give it a player of the week award right now. tonight, Andy Demetra, Keely Evelyn. Thanks to all of you watching tonight on the Pro Volleyball Federation YouTube channel in a mat matchup of first and second place in the league. Atlanta up two sets to one on Super the Supernovas. And ahead here 15 to 10 in the fourth as they look for a third win in four regular season matchups with Omaha. The difference is the passing game. Atlanta vibe is sticking past a 64% in system. For Omaha, only 30%, 36% is playable at the net. Mm. So Omaha definitely needs to pick up that passing game. At all levels, as you know, it comes down to serve and pass. Shaven Landsman off speed over the block. Monterey gets underneath it. La Sareva tips it over. And bumped across by De La Cruz. Monterey dishes Edmund. <laughs> yes, Leah Edmond, take that one toward the line. She actually looks like she's going cross court on this and then takes the ball slightly over her head, lets it cross her to change her shot to take it line. Well, that was a dime to Leah Edmond. Shaven Landsman almost turned away. Great effort by member uh, Edmond near the scores table, but the side out goes to the Supernovas. These are good offensive rotations for Atlanta Vibe in this moment. Lazareva's in the back row. You have Edmund in the front row and Fanning back. For Omaha, Shaven Landsman's on your service line, so that takes away the front row right side offense. Monterey goes to Fanning, but gets blocked. Okay, Mayfield coming in, 6-1, yeah. making the read back. Coach Bird, Coach Mayfield at Kansas and likes her game so much, has her on the team going deep to the bench using Mayfield in this match. 
Yeah, those two reconnecting in the professional game as the serve goes long, side out to the vibe. You almost feel on the court right now, even Edmund running to the side when that ball, making the effort. The effort for Atlanta is there. The passing game, can you stick the pass? De La Cruz is probably going to get the serve. Serve comes from Montserrat right to De La Cruz, who steps in front of Mayfield for it. Mayfield ranging toward the pin. That's parried away. Montserrat, member Mena off speed, gets it down. <laughs> they don't all have to be hard, violent swings from Lekator. Member Mena, she's got some craft to her game as well. Who'd have thought you played track, a little hurdles in volleyball, <laughs> trying to go over, didn't even know where Hens was. Member Mena goes, I'm not going to go with my hard shot. Let me throw in the tip. Extends the viable lead to 6, 18 to 12. Ever since that sweep to the Supernovas back in February 29th, the Vibe have been almost unbeatable. They've won 10 of their last 11, trying to make it 11 of 12, but the kill from Mayfield. And you saw Andy, it was a good pass. That caused Fanning, the middle blocker for Atlanta, to hold just enough, allowing that one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Mayfield on that kill. I think the look tells it all for Laura Bird Kuhn, Keely Evelyn's former teammate at Georgia Tech. That was Bird's look when we were winning a lot. I was going to say. That, not playing well. Bird has just a business like demeanor, like, let's get this job done. Well, she's done a terrific job since taking over as interim coach three matches into the season. But uh, this fourth set quickly getting away from her club down 19 13. One of the best people you will ever meet, Laura Kuhn, a.k.a. Bird, that's known as one name across the volleyball community. When she first introduced herself to you, did she say, hi, I'm Laura, or hi, I'm Bird? You know, because she got recruited from our coaching staff, we only knew her as Bird. I'm not even sure if until late <laughs> we asked her real name, but it was like, okay, Bird's coming, and we're like, Bird? All said or dump, haven't seen that often, but it was well read by the Supernovas. Off the scramble, Shaven Landsman. Wow, what a swing. So that was impressive. When you have the hand control that Shaven Landsman has, you can change your shot. It's all about turning that wrist on the contact, using the twist, the torque of your stomach to cause that angle. Nice job, Shaven Landsman. Point number 13 for Jess Shaven Landsman after a DMP versus Columbus. Just shows you the depth that the Supernovas have. All right now, needing to stack together a run. Down 19-14. La Sareva crushing it down the line. <laughs> I just love her game. La Sareva, that's another, like, bird, business-like. She misses one, not feeling so much, but she's here mentally the whole match. She never sleeps on a point. She gives her 100%, walks it off like, that's what I do, guys. <laughs> yeah, La Sareva just sniping it. Tenth year pro from Russia. And a veteran of the 2020 Olympics with the Russian Olympic Committee. You know, in this moment, I think of Craig Skinner at Kentucky. You have three players on the court right now that have graduated two national champions. Pretty impressive. Coach has got to be proud. Yeah, you got to love that. One of those former Wildcats, Annie Ali Linehan at the service line. Ali setting up. Shaven Landsman. Member Mena off the hands and down. Monterey in the air, a lean back set low and flat. The ball, what Lector Member Mena enjoys, changing her shot, going hard up the line. Yeah. With some motion, you win on that tool. Hands of silk, nerves of steel from Lector Member Mena. And it prompts the Omaha timeout with Atlanta in front 21-14. And sort of a similar script unfolding here in the fourth as we saw in the third where yeah, middle of that set, that's where in Atlanta starts to stretch things out. And if you're the coaches in this situation, you look at this moment and say, this might be the finals, even though you're one match at a time, sure. But you're thinking, okay, for Omaha, we have to pass better. We have to go back. Our service game is strong. Let's go back in the gym, get our serve-receive game going. 
for Atlanta, we saw some amazing digs, right? Just incredible. You got to get Lazareva going in the match because if you got five hitters involved, the middle with Yelahashiva adding some offense, Fanning's been automatic, but you go that five attack deep with the defense and block that you already know that you have, you go back to the gym and say, okay, we have to figure out a way, make that connection happen. It was interesting when we caught up with Todd Dashney before the match because Coach Kuhn has shifted things around, whether it's at setter or at Libro, flipping her left sides. We, we asked Coach Dagenet, I mean, what, what kind of lineup do you expect? He goes, I, I don't know. We're just going to have to be us and kind of adjust as the match unfolds. Vibe took the first set. Supernovas took the second before Atlanta claimed set three, 25-16. The side out from Dixon makes it 21-15 Atlanta. Dixon gets in the front row. Hilly's looking no further, trying to get her the ball. And it'll be Hilly back to serve. Former Wisconsin All-American. Earned the Badgers' first national title in school history with a win over Nebraska, but still welcomed with open arms by the Supernova fans. Blow to the cross. La Sereva has that blocked. Turned back by Dixon. Boy, Dixon has had some... Big time blocks. This is the fourth to set Dixon, the depth and the power just locked in, making that close, recognizing Lazareva was trying to go cross court, extra press back. Member Mena swings down the line, but swings long. In and that all of moment. a sudden, two straight by the Supernovas to close the gap to four. In that moment, Shaven Landsman knew right away she did not touch the ball, turned around to her team and said, mm -hmm. guys, we got that point. Lasareva trying to time it, and that one just gets down. Boy, kind of sailed alongside the net, and no angle to be played up by Hilly. Coach Dagenet is confident with the lead, but it's got to be looking at Atlanta vibe right now. It's like, you cannot sleep on these supernovas. You have a locked-in team coming at you still. you got to finish this match. Yeah, there will be no cruise into a match victory here in the fourth set. None of it are tips it over. Lasareva is there. And it is Edmund. Edmund once again scraping the ceiling and having a potential Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week type match. The block and defense, you got it. Know where Edmund is. And Edmund, even with the block, will make you pay. Just power, Monterey, trusting Edmund was ready. 23-17 vibe, timeout, Supernovas. You know, Todd Dagenet said his team is not built because of its balance to, to rack up Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week awards because there's not somebody like a Betty Dela Cruz, the reigning PVF Player of the Week, who's going to go out and get you 26 kills on a given night. That all being said, Aaliyah Edmond has 23 points and a double-double as well with 10 digs to go along with her 20 kills. And it's been the matchup in this set. You match her up in a better rotation, she's able to get some kills when she's matched up. Yeah, Supernovas just have not had an answer for Leah Edmond tonight. Nor has most of the Pro Volleyball Federation. Should add that. And out of the timeout, Vibe, two points away from another win over the Supernovas. But do remember, these teams likely ticketed to championship weekend, and it is in Omaha. And I feel like whenever this match ends, it'll be so long for now till we meet again. Edmund, one more, why not? And this time it produces match point for the vibe. I love the offense from Omaha. You had two fast middle attacks. Shaven Landsman getting it, but slowing down the game. The defensive and offensive game for Atlanta looks solid. Lasareva serving. 24-17, Dixon on the slide, tees off right into the kitchen of Lasareva. Watch out, though. You see Dixon just lighten it up. This is the hilly factor. Mm -hmm. the, when you find your setter that you really connect with, you can get a lot of kills because you just know when that set's going to pop, Dixon feeling it. Betty De La Cruz can be a one-woman rally from the service line. That's handled, and Yella Hashava drops the hammer and claims the match for the Vibe. 25-18 in the fourth. 
And in the battle of first versus second in the Pro Volleyball Federation, this one goes to league leading Atlanta. Over 50% of the passes in serve receive were on the money. Setter Monterey was at the net. That allows the offense to be run. Excellent job by Atlanta, getting the offense going and then relying on your amazing defensive play. For Omaha, you go back to practice. You work on your practice game. You get a little more connections going with all your attackers. You're still in this. Watch out. Double doubles from Lekator member Mena Anilasareva and a standout performance from Leah Edmond. 21 kills, 10 digs, and in four sets tonight, Atlanta 3-1 over Omaha. For Keila Evelyn, our entire crew, Andy Demetra, thanks so much for watching the Pro Volleyball Federation.